As we're getting closer to Christmas, I thought it'd be nice to stop and actually give you a very simple little read. I was introduced to M.C. Beaton's Hamish Macbeth about 10 years ago, and I have been addicted ever since. Today on Book Report, we're going to do A Highland Christmas. This is one of the sweetest little mysteries I've ever read in my entire life, and it's little, so you can sit down and read it in like a day. It's a wonderful little stocking stuffer for anyone who likes murder mysteries, and it's just a fun little read. Hamish Macbeth is a small town cop, and by small town cop, I mean he covers three whole provinces up in very far north Scotland. Um, Scotland is a really interesting little country. Uh, they have these Tra traditional cities like Edinburgh, and then when you go far north enough, you get into areas that you wouldn't recognize as being part of the 21st century, or the 20th century, really. Hamish lives in the police station in a little cottage attached to the police station where he has a peat moth stove, and I'm going to make you look that up. He raises sheep and chicken, just like most people in his town and he loves his small town. He would never consider leaving the province or the town of Loch Dew ever. Now, unfortunately, people like to come to Loch Dew and do bad things. Um, this time, they have decided that somebody is going to go and rob Patel's. Patel's is the local grocery store. This is one of the few that doesn't have any murder mysteries associated with it. They're stealing cat food. The mystery is solved when he finds out that Morag, one of the cute seven-year-old little kids, comes in and confesses that she stole a cat and she's been stealing kitten food to, to feed the cat. Morag is a lovely little girl and unfortunately, much like most people in Upper Upper Scotland, the family are Calvinists. They don't celebrate Christmas in the big traditional to-do. So Hamish decides that he's going to give the town of Loch Dew a chance to celebrate Christmas out in the open. He goes out and he finds a whole bunch of like Christmas tree decorations and he strings up the whole town and makes it really beautiful. The reason that I particularly like this book is it teaches us a lot about community and trying to learn about other people's stories before we judge them. Morag thought that the cat was unhappy living with its original owner, this very nasty mean old lady. This nasty mean old lady lives out on the, on the moors all by herself and she never likes anybody around. But if you read the book, you find out that she had escaped from a really bad marriage and she was very afraid that if she got to know people, they'd spread the word of that she was living there and that her very awful husband would come and find her. So she kind of just shut herself off. Well, Hamish Macbeth is able to find out that that man has been in prison for some time and he'll probably be there forever. So she's able to start inviting people over. So little Morag, as punishment, has to go over to her house every Tuesday and watch Star Wars. And I can't think of a nicer punishment on the planet. She's watching Star Wars and drinking lemonade and eating iced cake and all of a sudden all the other little boys and girls want to come over to the house and Morag, who was kind of shunned, is now the most popular girl in school. And it's all thanks to Hamish Macbeth, who is a lovely human being. I recommend the book. It's a sweet little Christmas read and it's a great way to get addicted to one of the funnest murder mystery series you'll ever read. Um, as I told you guys, God, a while ago I think, um, I didn't know that you could buy your own books until second grade. And one of the first books I bought was a murder mystery. It was the dumbest mystery I had ever read in my entire life. It was a mouse stole some cheese and all the other mouse found him and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? But after that, I have been completely addicted to murder mysteries. They are the funnest things to read, aside from, of course, every other genre on the planet. So, I hope you guys like the book. If you're interested in it, drop me an email, adonahue at hwrsd.org. Happy reading.